Hello everybody, welcome again to Miles to Zip, this is Kev and uh, today is our much awaited ride, uh, we've tried to plan for a very long time to Ayodhya Hills and uh, the reason why we took so long was it's quite a long ride, you know? it took us roughly uh, like you know around 5 hours. Yeah, so we are gonna, we've just uh, begun the ride and guys I must tell you that this is going to be a long ride, you know, so please bear with us. Uh, so before we start, we're gonna fuel our, our stomachs with some food, so we'll stop off for some breakfast and get a lot of drinks to have on the way. It's always good to hydrate as much as you can. So we'll do that and then we'll start the ride towards Ayodhya Hills. Uh, this place we've been actually trying to plan this out for a very long time but uh, uh, due to a lot of circumstances uh, the ride was like postponed and postponed and postponed. So we'll just stop off here for a bit, have something to eat and then we'll hit the road. So this is a nice uh, place. I will stop the Manpasand Dhaba. Now there's our machines all set and ready to go. We've got the Apache RTR 310, the Apache 200. We've got Kev's uh, Royal Enfield Meteor, and we've got. Gary's Bajaj. So that's the lineup of the bikes. So we'll just grab a bite and then hit the road. So all right, people, as you can see, now these roads are beautiful. And the reason why I haven't uh, cut off a lot of the ride is because those of you who actually ride and who are into biking and long trips, you'll see that these roads are just amazing to ride, ride on. And uh, you know, the trees at the side and the wind in your face so it's only the hardcore riders will know what I'm trying to talk talk about here as you can see the roads are just amazing you know and and surprisingly they are also very good roads there were a few uh, a stretch or two which uh, we had to slow down and a lot of uh, rocks and whatever but 95% of the ride was just amazing, you know. And we've got Sid, who's with us. And Sid is a hardcore AOG rider, so he's got a lot of e experience in this. So Sid is at the head of us. He's going to lead us through this ride. And uh, uh, I just like to sort a few things out. So miles to zip is the YouTube channel and I've been uploading a lot of my rides here and uh, now we also ride with the AOG the Apache owners group so that's another group that we are associated with a lot and we do a lot of the uh, breakfast rides with them which we try and uh, like you know uh, change into a bit more so we need to do more so as I told you in my last vlog, if you have an Apache, please don't forget to join the group because this uh, group is really amazing, you know. And this particular ride that we are doing right now is a start of uh, 
what we call the biker bros so the reason why we got uh, we've uh, got this group going is because there are a lot of pe pe people who don't have an apache bike so if you don't have an uh, apache and you're not being able to ride with the aog you can join us because biker bros is for whatever bike you have and if you're interested and really have a zeal for bike rides and stuff you can join us so uh i've got the you uh, the what's whatsapp group going and we'll also start a facebook page so if you are interested in joining biker bros you can join us this is uh, located in as and soul so if you are interested in being a part of the biker bros you could uh, you could get in touch or add yourself to the facebook page which i'll create once we up upload this vlog So as you can see guys the roads are amazing and if you look each side of you it's just an amazing amazing view you know and uh, it's just uh, guys who are like you know into riding and uh, who have a zeal for it and love doing it will know what I'm trying to talk about because these roads are really amazing So as I said, uh, the Ayodhya Hill ride has, was planned out a long time ago, but uh, due to some uh, circumstances, we were not able to do do this ride. You know, but finally here we are on our bikes and on the road. And uh, Ayodhya Hills is like uh, give you a little brief of it. It's uh, from what we heard, it's three dams. So it's mostly uh, hilly. So if you have been to places like Darjeeling and all that, and the roads, uh, like you know, they completely wind themselves around the the hillside. So it's amazing for bikers. If you really have that uh, that zeal for winding roads, Ayodhya Hills is the place where you will freak out, guys, because. Uh, there's twists and turns all over, you know? So we're just gonna check it out and see for ourselves. And uh, there's not uh, very much like, uh, to see apart from the scenery, you know? The scenery is simply amazing. And as we uh, ride across, we, we've, uh, we are passing a few of these little townships you know, and uh, small little villages. And it's amazing to actually see the way everybody lives there and are so happy about it, you know. So this was just getting across the Dish Dishigar Bridge. Whenever we pass this place, it's like, you know, it like takes your breath away. Uh, due to the heat and the the hot days that we are having here, most of the streams and rivers have dried up. But it's just a mat matter of time. Once the rains start again, it'll, they'll all be full, you know? So, as I said, uh, the reason why this, this vlog is going to be a 20-odd minute vlog is uh, if you actually uh, watch it right to the end, you'll see what I mean because the sceneries and the roads are simply amazing. And uh, although I did uh, take off a bit of it, but uh, there was so much that I just had to leave on for all you guys who are actually on the road most of the time and doing your rides. You know, you'll you'll uh, definitely know what I mean when you, when you check out the vlog and uh, when you actually uh, put yourself on the road with us, you will know exactly what I mean. Uh, and that is one of the re reasons why if I, I've left most of the ride on here. For all you true biker in enthusiasts uh, to like, you know, to enjoy. You know? So enjoy the ride and we'll update you now and then on how it's going.
So that's Kev on his Royal Enfield Meteor. And we've got Sid on his TVS Apache 310. Uh, Gary is on his Bajaj. And I'm on my RTR 200. And all four of these bikes are amazing rides. It's like amazing to actually cruise down, especially if you get roads like this. It's simply awesome. So Sid is doing a fantastic job in guiding us through this ride. He's one of the guys who has the most uh, experience on the road. So yeah, we are like sort of a little more than halfway through the ride right, right now. And look at this guys, look at these roads. It's simply amazing. And it's so surprising to actually find roads like this most of the ride through, you know. It's like uh, so well done and so well kept. Right through the ride we had most of the stretch was roads like this, you know. Beautiful roads to, to ride on and cruise on, you know. And all, all, although the, the trip was long, you know, when you start a ride and when you, uh, when you're on the first leg of your ride, and when you, on your way to your destination, it's not that bad. You're, you're so keen and eager to get to where you're going. So everything looks like beautiful, and so it is. Look at the lush green fields. So this is it. We're just entering Ayodhya Hills. There's the sign right on top there, welcome, welcoming us into Ayodhya Hills. Now, Ayodhya Hills is not just one place, it's a big place, you know, and there are a lot of things around there. So it's not just the Ayodhya Hills, there's three dams here, you know, so it's a huge uh, uh, span of, uh, of road, you know, and once you get up, you'll just enjoy the ride, guys. It's just beautiful. As you can see, there's the hills on my left. And as you cruise in, the entire view actually cap captivates you. And like, you know, it makes the long ride so worthwhile, you know. So it's beautiful. So those are part of the Ayodhya Hills. And uh, as we go in, you'll see that uh, much of this place, it's as though you are entering a, a hill sta station, like, you know, Darjeeling with the winding roads. And uh, it's just a feast for anybody who loves to ride. So if ever you guys have not been here, plan a trip out here. I must say that uh, uh, you'll have to do it during the day and uh, move out as soon as you feel it's it's uh, going to get dark because some of the roads winding around the hill, the hilltops are, are not that big 
so you got to literally watch and be safe when you ride right around them you know it's not uh, it's not uh, like you know two lane roads most of the roads are like one lane as as you can see but the curves and the stretches that you see right here are just amazing look at that it's just amazing for anybody who loves to ride it's just beautiful look at that so if any of you guys are, uh, uh, do want to plan a ride out here just make sure you ride safe around these curves guys uh, because uh, like you know if there's a bike or a car coming up the road you need to be pretty safe you know so watch yourself as you ride around these curves but it's really amazing look at that guys and this is the reason why i just had to leave all all this here this is why it's a, a pretty long vlog this one and this is just the ride i i've had to i've had to space this out into part one and part two so the first one this vlog is just the ride and the next one that i do i'll give you a little view of the dams the three dams that we we stopped at now, so this first vlog is just the ride so enjoy the ride and uh, i'll talk to you soon So this is Ayodhya Hills, everybody, beautiful place for a nice long ride. But as I said, do plan it out because there's not much uh, of space here to rent a room for the night. So you'll have to plan it out in such a way where you get here, ride as much as you can and uh, head back home before it gets dark. As we all know, ride, ride, riding out here in the night is, is not safe at all with everybody and their high beams on, you know. So it's not a safe ride when if you plan something out in the night. So anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Subscribe to us if you've not and we'll see you soon in the next vlog. So stay tuned.